Hello, my name is Setra. I am the project lead of Morpheus Rover from Bears Uberlin. And today I'm going to show you what we are working on the Rover Morpheus. Let's go. As you can see here, uh, our institute already has some experience with the Rover. Like this is a space port for 2015. More here. Our team consists of approximately 27 students forming an international and diverse group passionate about this project. Given the size of a team, we have structured our project into several segments, project management, systems engineering and specific team leads for rover subsystem. These team leads serve as a point of contact between the respective subsystem members and overall project management, ensuring seamless communication and coordination. Here you can see the students working on software and robotic arm. In this laboratory, we also have 3D printers and soldering station which we can use for the project. Hi, my name is Saran. I'm the systems engineer on the rover project. My reason to join ERC is to get hands-on experience with space engineering. My name is Ada, I am the science lead, and my motivation for joining ERC is that I think it's always exciting to study Mars, and it's always new things to learn. I'm Silas, the mechanical lead of our rover team. The European Rover Challenge is the perfect place to test our skills, meet other passionate teams from around the world, and just keep growing as engineers and as a team. We've made some major mechanical upgrades for the season, starting with the suspension. We are integrating a fully custom differential gearbox directly into the chassis. This increases overall stiffness, eliminates tilt play between the left and right wheels, and enhances how our adaptive boogie system handles rough terrain, critical for realistic mass exploration tasks. The chassis itself uses our trusted aluminum profile frame for modularity and rigidity, but now features custom aluminum sheet metal panels. Hi, my name is David Batten. Uh, I'm the electrical lead for the rover and my main motivation for joining the ERC is to gain more knowledge and experience in rover development. For the electrical system, the rover will be running a similar architecture to last year's rover. We will be powering the rover with two 24 volt batteries connected in series to form our main 48 volt bus line. This 48 volt bus line will be used to power the main motors, robotic arm and any other key moving components. From there, we will be using buck converters to bring the voltage down to our other operational buses of 24 volts, 12 volts and 5 volts. These bus voltages are primarily for our computers and additionally some sensors required for the challenge. The main difference between this year and last in the electrical system is the development of a dedicated safety computer. This is here to monitor the health of the rover and cut power to problematic areas if required. As mentioned previously, we will be running with two 24 volt batteries. These batteries were manufactured in-house in TU Berlin. Um, we're running with a 4P 6S configuration to form the 24 volts, and then running two of these batteries in series to form the 48 volts. Hi, my name is Lilo. I'm the navigation lead for our rover, and my reason to join the ERC is to learn more about space-related robotics. My name is Tilton. I lead the rover software team. My motivation to work in ERC25 is to apply my engineering skills in real-world Mars simulation. The robotic arm software is built on the MOVIT framework in ROS2. Currently, the arm is operated manually. We can control it in joint space using MOVIT's GUI sliders and in Cartesian space using a joystick. Morpheus to its limits, we rigorously tested its driving capabilities, executing precise forward and backward maneuvers, sharp left and right turns, and tackling increasingly challenging terrains. The rover navigated uneven paths with adaptive traction, conquered steep rocky slopes thanks to its robust suspension, and even mastered climbing stairs through wheel coordination.
Covert Challenge is invaluable opportunity to apply engineering skills we have acquired during our studies. Each test proved Morpheus resilience, proving that our design improvements from past ERC competitions have paid off. Now we are ready to take on even tougher challenges at ERC 2025. Our robotic arm has seen the biggest leap. Its base is now mounted at the center of the rover, enabling full 360 degree motion. This not only improves accessibility on all sides, but also shifts the center of mass closer to the core. We swapped out last year's pulley waste system for direct drive joints with custom cycloidal gears, giving us minimal backlash, high load capacity and excellent holding torque. And while we are not implementing them just yet, we are working with ANSYS on topology, optimized biceps and shoulder links. The clipper itself has interchangeable fingers to carry out various tasks in ERC. Drill is coupled with a linear actuator to go through all layers and collect the sample. It has hollow chambers for samples to get packed easily. Hello everyone, I'm Vasant, the team lead and the pilot in command for the navigation droning subtask of ERC 2025 from Team Morpheus. The drone that we have developed for ERC 2025 is a classical quad rotor solution and let's explore part by part. Starting with the frame, which is a quasi isentropic carbon fiber frame known for its lightweight and robust nature. Moving to the motors and propellers, which is a high thrust to weight ratio combo of 6 is to 1 that can deliver a maximum thrust of up to 1.2 kilograms per unit. Moving to the main heart of the frame or the drone which itself, which is the autopilot. The autopilot is completely controlled by PX4 ecosystem that's running on Natex operating system. The drone is externally guided by two differential GPS systems, primary and secondary, for accurate navigation through satellite position. The primary camera, which is a 4 millisecond ultra low latency camera exclusively for visual audiometry. The secondary camera is a vanadium oxide uncooled thermal camera exclusively for crop detection. We are grateful for the support from our sponsors that helped us achieve our goal of participating in ERC 2025. We really want to say thanks to our amazing supervisors which were always there when help was needed. Team Morpheus signing off. See you at ERC in Krakow.